All right, in this video, I want to solve an equation by completing the square. So in this case, we have 4x squared minus 10x plus 1 equals 0. This one's going to be a little trickier because we're going to end up getting fractions. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is keep the x's on one side and put the number on the other. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. If I subtract 1 from both sides, that'll leave me with 4x squared minus 10x equals negative 1. And again, a sort of a couple different equivalent ways of doing these, but the first thing I'm going to do is I like the coefficient on the x squared to be equal to a 1. If the coefficient on the x squared is not um, a 1, this trick of taking one half of the number and squaring it and trying to make that a perfect square, um, that doesn't work quite so nicely anymore, so you have to be careful about that. So we need the coefficient to be a 1 on the x squared. Well, to do that, since I'm multiplying by 4, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. On the left side, again, we have to be careful because really this would be 4x squared over 4 minus 10x over 4. On the right side, we have negative 1 fourth. Well, if I simplify 4 divided by 4, that'll give me positive 1x squared, and that's what I wanted. We have 10 over 4, which reduces to 5 halves. I'll put the x out to the side, and then we have our negative 1 fourth. So now, again, this is where it's a little tricky, because whatever number's in front of the x, we take 1 half of that number. So we're going to take 1 half of negative 5 halves. Well, we're multiplying two fractions, so we just multiply across the top. That'll give us negative 5. And on the bottom, we'll get positive 4. And then we take this number, negative 5 fourths, and we square it. So if we take negative 5 times negative 5, that'll give us positive 25. On the bottom, uh, 4 times 4 is going to give us positive 16. And again, this is the number that we add to both sides of our equation. Okay, so on the left side, We've got x squared minus 5 over 2x. We're going to add 25 over 16 to the left side. On the right side, we've still got our negative 1 fourth. I'm also going to add 25 over 16 to the right side. Okay, so again, kind of a, maybe a couple little tricky steps here, but a couple observations, and I think it'll make life a little bit easier. So again, the idea on the left side is we can write this as something squared, and then we're going to take the square root of both sides. Well, to get the x squared, I'm going to need an x. Again, whatever when you take one half of the coefficient on the x, when we do this very first step, whatever number that is, we got negative 5 fourths, that's what's going to go inside the parentheses. And again, you can check if you take x minus 5 fourths times x minus 5 fourths, multiply it out, you're going to get x squared minus 5 over 2x plus 25 over 16. On the right side, we need to get common denominators to simplify our fraction. So I would have to multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by 4. So that would give me negative 4 over 16 plus 25 over 16. Okay, so I'm going to leave the left side alone here for just a minute. Um, so x minus 5 fourths quantity squared. So we've got common denominators. Negative 4 plus 25 will give us 21 over 16. And again, now I'm going to do this step of taking the square root of both sides. When I take the square root, I need to stick the positive and negative um, on one side. It's always easier just to stick it where the number is. So then we have x minus 5 fourths equals positive or negative square root of 21 over 16. But we can break this up as the square root of 21 over the square root of 16. I don't think we can really simplify down the square root of 21 very much, so I'm just going to leave that part alone. But notice in the denominator we get the square root of 16, which is 4. So really I'm going to think, well, we've got x minus 5 fourths equal, equals uh, positive and negative 21 over 4. So again, now we just make our two little equations and solve. So we'll have to take x minus 5 fourths equals positive square root of 21 over 4, 
And then we're also going to have to solve x minus 5 fourths equals negative square root of 21 over 4. Um, in both cases, we're going to add 5 fourths to both sides. So in our first equation, we'll get square root of 21 over 4 plus 5 fourths. And you could either leave it like that, or you could write it as a single fraction. Um, square root of 21 plus 5 over 4. So that would be one solution to our quadratic equation. And the other, if we add 5 fourths, we'll get x equals negative square root of 21 over 4 plus 5 fourths. But again, if you want to, you could write this as a single fraction. Negative square root of 21 plus 5 over 4. And that would be your other solution.